So guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at my rain slash multi-day slash fall kind of sleep system. And like I was saying, this is the sleep system that I'm gonna be taking uh, on adventures that are gonna be multiple days where I know there might be rain or especially in the fall when temperatures start to dip at night and you need that extra insulation. Now I have to film this at the table because the original intro filmed out in the field actually got messed up uh, due to audio. Like there was no audio to it so it was just me speaking to a camera but with no audio. But uh, the rest of the footage is all good so uh, before we get into this, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content like this. Anyways guys, now let's roll into it and I'm going to break down basically my sleep system. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to walk you around just like in the first video. So to go over this outside, this is of course a hammock tarp and uh, that's what keeps the hammock <laughs> safe and secure from the wind, from the water, from snow, if it's winter, or just whatever comes down on top of you, or what could ever just come through, blow through, make you cold. So that, this tarp here is an underground quilt company tarp, and you guys can see it's set up how I set up, I keep it really basic, but basically I tie off to the tree, it's going to be hard to see because use, I use bank line, but you guys can see I tie off to the tree, then use these two rings in a kind of snag way so that they hold themselves, and then I just run a taut line, you guys can kind of see there, over to the other side and do the same kind of configuration of stringing it up to the tree. It's the same exact configuration as this and very basic. And then what I do next to keep it all tensioned is I just use, and I try and use as little equipment as possible, but I use four tent pegs and most of the time I just make these tent pegs myself. So you guys can see I do have one like store bought one over there, it's yellow. But other than that, the rest are all wood that I just made myself. And that keeps the uh, tarp at tension. And that's really important for when wind blows through and hits the tarp. So you can see this tarp also has buttons. As I've shown, if you guys are familiar with the UGQ Winter Dream 11, that's what this tarp is. And uh, it has buttons on this side and kind of entryways on both sides. So... In here, and it's gonna get really dark and a little hard to show, but in here is the same Hammock Bliss double hammock. So same exact hammock, and of course, I'm using the same exact tree straps as the first setup. The only primary addition is, of course, the uh, tent pegs and this uh, tarp to cover the hammock. Show it in a more summer or laid back kind of fashion when it's not raining as much. You don't need as much protection from the rain because obviously it's not raining. But it's nice that, especially if you have the uh, tarp already set up, it's nice to actually be able to quickly adjust it and quickly get it back if it begins to rain. So basically all I do to make it a more relaxed state is I just pull on whatever side I primarily am sitting on or facing toward, what I do is I just pull those two sides and then I take the tent pegs themselves and the little attachment points and I throw them over the top line. And then pretty much I just throw one side completely over the top line and the top line kind of holds it all together or holds it up I should say. Sorry for this terrible video angle, it will get better. I'm backing up to show you guys just a little bit of what it looks like because it's really hard to show you guys, you know, like really close uh, what I was doing. But basically that's what I do. And once again, what I do, I try and be a little bit strategical about when I throw it over. If there is, if I notice like it, I'm in a kind of a field here, as you guys can see, sorry for the overexposure, but I'm in a bit of a field here. And so if I know the wind is blowing from the field because behind me, is I'll lower this down but behind me is a wooded area so I'm not really that scared of the wind blowing from this wooded area however the gusts and I know this for a fact the gusts do come from the field and so for me what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back personally to the field and I'm also going to set this tarp when I overlap it like this 
I'm going to set it back to the uh, wind so that the wind doesn't blow in and uh, ruin everything. So still try and be a little bit strategical about the placement of that just so I can have the one side of protection that's still doing the most protection. So anyways guys, there's a better look at the tarp and or not the tarp, but the hammock setup. And once again, it's the same basic hammock setup as the last time, just uh, with the addition of the tarp and tent pegs. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this nice quick look at my winter or really fall slash rain time tarp setup or sleep system really. And it's pretty basic. Like I said, I try and keep my sleep systems as basic as possible because it's a lot of weight, especially, or there can, you can add a lot of weight when adding a sleep system. This sleep system, as you guys see here with the tent pegs and everything, is around four pounds in and of itself. So even when I was looking at sleeping systems originally, uh, I had to be really, really mindful of weight because with a sleep system, it's very easy to pack on pounds very fast. And so you just have to be really mindful with sleep systems. And that's why you guys will notice my sleep system is so basic, like only have tree straps, a hammock, a tarp, and four tent pegs. That's all, except aside from a little bit of bank line. But the bank line, I don't necessarily consider that like a sleep system part because it's something I'm already carrying. I just happen to use it as a part of the sleep system. But anyways, the sleep system, like I said, I try and keep very basic to keep the weight down as much as possible. But even still, this setup, this setup is four pounds, so it's a little heavy. But for the most part, I've actually found its capabilities to weight are actually really good. So... That's probably the primary reason why I am sticking with this system for the most part. Plus, hammocks are super comfortable. They beat the heck out of sleeping on the ground, and they also conform to your body, so they're very, very comfortable to lay in. Plus, the nice thing about hammocks is you can also sit in them. They're a nice suspension bed. And what I do really dig about hammocks is even if it is dry and sunny outside, uh, if the ground is still wet, it always sucks to be sitting on or near the ground because even if what you're sitting or sleeping on isn't necessarily wet, the wetness is right there. You're stuck in it. And so with a hammock, you're up and you're on, you're in dryness, basically, and you're up, you're elevated. You're not sitting on the muggy, wet ground, which is what we have a lot of here in Alaska. So hammocks, in case anyone wonders why I chose hammock sleep system in particular, hammocks are really great for Alaska because we have a lot of trees and the ground we usually work with is very wet and very boggy, as you guys have kind of seen. So that's why I chose a hammock sleep system. Anyways, guys, that's all for now, and I'm out.